Hey there, YouTube. It's Math Bowler with my big, big mainline autographs eBay purchase video. I purchased a whole bunch of stuff on their eBay account because they were doing 10% off if you purchase three or more. And, you know, um, after No Card November was over, I decided I'm going to give them some business. And I went on there to look for Kent to call these sign things. I did purchase... 11 Kent to call the items <laughs> and more this is going to be the first of two videos I open this up just um, to break the seal and save some time so I'm going to look for the two baseballs and five trading cards that are in here that'll be my first video my second video will have all of the autographed photos which is going to be between 15 and 20 of them. I kid you not. I really appreciate Mainline Autographs. I go to their show, their Mainline Autograph show. It's a great show. And there's the two baseballs right on the end. Well, that'll work. Um, let me not... Okay, good. Let me not show who they are on camera right now. Let me try to find the five trading cards to show you. Whoop! I do believe we just got him. Okay, these are these could be the trading cards. These could be COAs. We'll see. We'll see. Because I'm sure they'll include some COAs as well. And this is why you should pre-open more. <laughs> okay. So that's probably an invoice. Oh, here we go. There we go. There's nothing in that. Ah. Yeah. So we got a whole bunch of these COAs. Oh, they're like a white color instead of that more like a antique white color I'm used to. We got a whole bunch of autograph show tickets where I have my own stash of these, that's for sure. Yeah. So, um... Okay. Well, this worked out well. There's a big thing of photos in there. There's a big stack. There's a stack of photos. Oh, a big, beautiful stack of folders. All right. It's not just a big, stupid folder. It's a rock. Wow, that was not a funny SpongeBob reference at all. So, I have five signed trading cards to show you here, along with the two autographed baseballs. So we got a Bill Madlock, four-time batting champ for the Pirates. Remember the 79 World Series team on this 1985 Fleer Limited Edition insert type card. Very cool. We got Bill Madlock again on this Senior League card. Signed in a really good spot there. He's $10 through the mail. Um... After the discount, these cards were either $6.29 or $7.19, you know, because, yeah. We got Teak, the rubber band man, the tall, skinny nightmare. Here we go on the 77 tops. Dang, that's a good-looking autograph. And there he is on the 82 Fleer. I double-checked my stash to make sure I didn't buy cards I already had of them, and I did not have the 77 tops, the 82 Fleer, or... This 76 Tops Archive, so it's not 70, um, it's 2001 Tops Archive, so that's pretty cool. That was actually his rookie year card, but obviously this is more modern. So there we go, we got five autographed trading cards to show you, and two autographed baseballs. Truthfully, my favorite thing to collect are autographed baseballs, and these are both good ones for my collections. Ones that I, yeah, this is the one I want to look at first. This is one I've been looking for. I've been looking for a John Candelaria, the candy man. With the no-hitter inscription. And there we go. Add that to my John Candelaria stat, you know, collection there. So yeah, John Candelaria, he pitched for a long time. Remember the 1979 World Series Pirates? As was Kent Tocalvi. Kent Tocalvi had the uh, the save to finish it out. Oh, yeah. But, um, dang, that's cool. This baseball, $31.49. 
The cost of his autograph ticket's about $20. The inscription's $10. There's $30 right there at his signing. The baseball itself, we got a Bud Selig ball, which is very appropriate. He pitched during the Bud Selig area, not the Bob Manfred area, so... That's yeah, a $15 ball, easy. So I got $45 worth of stuff here. Um, $31.49. It was $34.99, 10 off. That's awesome to have that one in my collection. And then... Bill Madlock. Now, it says Bill Madlock, Mad Dog Madlock. I mean, I've got a couple signed baseballs of him already. Why would I possibly add another one? Because it's a stat ball. I'll try to fill in some of the stats if it's not mentioned already. But let me take this out now. This is going to be too beautiful. We got Bill Mad Dog Madlock. Three-time All-Star, 75-81-83. And the member of the 79 World Series champs. Let's go clockwise. 2,008 hits, 305. Yeah, that, that's cool. Batting average, 305. Dang. 163 home runs, 860 RBI. There we go. 420 runs. Alright. <clears throat> nice. Imagine that might be a 9, actually. It's seven, four. That's 9. 900, yeah. 920 are runs. You can see. I'm having a tough time reading it, but stolen base of 174, doubles, 348, and 34 triples. And then. There it is. Four time. And El Bang Champ with the years, 75, 76, 81, 83. So, the signature with the nickname and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 inscriptions. You could count the nickname, I suppose. That's awesome. That was a heck of a deal on a Manfred ball, and that's fine. So, um, yeah, heck of a first purchase to show you from this gigantic purchase I met, made at the Mainline Autograph Show. and Or not the Mainline Autograph Show, from the Mainline Autographs eBay channel. So, heck yeah, I'm glad to add all these to the collection. Let me know what you think in the comments below. What was your favorite? I upload three videos a week, a TTM video on Monday, and an autograph and a trading card video on Wednesdays and Saturdays. Take care, everybody.